Hello, everybody. Welcome back to WWTF. We want the fight to see him, so I might see. I'm Fred Watt. Hey, today we're reviewing Skyrim. Yes, this is finally on the Switch. It finally came out, man. Um, but before we start talking about it, as always, we like to give it a number of facts. Right. Mike, unfortunately, you didn't play. Not again, no. I'm tired of playing Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but Fred, you played Skyrim yes. on the Switch. Yeah. How was it? Psh, bruh. What's up? I'm going to give it a five. <laughs> God, dude, you took five of the sky Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? I'm going to give it a five. Why? Now, you know we reviewed um, Skyrim VR for the PlayStation yesterday. Right. So, like I said yesterday, everything that you get on the big systems, you get with this game. Wow. Everything. Though it does take a graphical hit okay. when you're playing it in the handheld mode, right. when you're playing in the dock, it's a little bit better but this is Skyrim. For people that like this game, you don't miss out on anything. Boy. Now, which, what I wish they would have did was like it would have linked up everything that you may have did previously yeah. in Skyrim with this one, and but you have to start all over. Yeah, okay. But I would definitely say, yeah, man, this, this game is a... <laughs> Switch is really surprising me. Yeah. It really shocked me because I, I thought that it wasn't going to hold its own weight with these big titles coming on this little small system. Yeah. Taking a graphical hit really doesn't bother me if I'm playing Skyrim on the Switch mm -hmm. because I'm getting everything that the big consoles right. is getting. Right. So I can take this, play it in a car, take the dock, play, uh, put it in a hotel, and mm -hmm. you know, go if I wanted to lay out on a beach or whatever, I can play. I mean, it, you, you can't take your PlayStation, or you can if you buy that little screen and battery yeah, operating and all, all that much. stuff. That's too much. But just totally, man, this this game is, is awesome, man. Uh -huh. Mind you, I don't like, I don't like it, and I probably would never play it again other than doing a review for the game. But for those of you who like Skyrim, this is a terrific game, especially if you have it on the Switch. I don't know. You love Switch like these Yeah, I, days, I yeah. Man. Got the dock and the car charger and just taking it out there random, man. Man, I'm so proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love the Switch, man. And, and and that's what is the biggest seller. You know, because a lot of people are real skeptical about the Switch and everything, and them not holding its own. But uh, it is really, it's really changed a lot of people's mind, man. Yeah. It's still kind of hard to find, but this holiday season, you catch some good deals. Uh, almost everybody should have it or, or be getting it around Black Friday. So, uh... Man, go out there, get yourself a Switch, get yourself a Skyrim. You got Mario Odyssey too yep. as well. Um, it's, Though it's, it's a, a short game, I did beat Mario Odyssey. Yeah. And I was surprised how short it was. But it's still more that you could do as far as like, it gives those collectors, you know, more stuff to find and mm -hmm. everything. So um, just keep on with it, man. Skyrim for the Switch. So and, let's go ahead. And, go ahead. and another thing before we do that uh -huh. is that we're going to do this another episode probably in the upcoming weeks. Uh -huh. The Switch is more powerful than what a lot of people think. Remember when I yeah. was talking about the US, uh, the USB-C type port? Correct. People, you may say, oh, well, Fred is crazy. The Switch with the USB-C type port, if they utilize that port, then Nintendo, the people working at Nintendo, listen to me. If you use that USB-C type port, you can blow the Xbox One X out the water. You can blow, definitely blow the PlayStation 4 Pro out the water, all utilizing that USB-C type port. Mm -hmm. Getting the external GPU and the CPU, being able to put your own graphics card in there. You can put in a 1080 uh, Titan in there. You can do something with a box that makes it the, the, uh, the GPU, or, I mean the CPU, more powerful. I, the Switch, it's a sleeper system. Yeah. If they utilize that USB-C type port, I'm trying to tell you, it can outdo the Xbox and PlayStation, hands down. So exciting. Yeah. So exciting. All right. Uh, final verdict, Fred. Final verdict, Mike. All right, Fred. What do you give Skyrim on the Switch? Um, I, would, I would definitely buy it. Okay. If buy. you are a fan of Skyrim, I would definitely buy it. The only thing that 
my gripe is that you would have to do everything all over again. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you want to do that. But if you're a newcomer to Skyrim and you've seen it being played and you have a Switch and you have the other consoles like we do, mm -hmm. I would probably mainly get it on the Switch. Okay. Right. Man. Switch. Switch. Yeah. All right, man. So, friends, love the Switch. So, uh, like always, you guys can hit us up at thegameshowgmail.com. That's the show with the Mac. Don't forget to head over to the Facebook store page where you find lower prices. Don't forget to hit us up on VTime. And don't forget to subscribe to become a Gamers Club member. And please remember to like, subscribe, and follow all our social media networks. Join our Steam Wars community and our website community where you can get some free stuff. And we'll see you next time on WWTF. We want the facts. The Gamer Show. See you next time, people watching. Thanks for